Welcome back to our channel. On this week's episode, we wanted to talk to you about... Maybe you're one of the lucky essential workers who still gets to go outside. Or maybe you're stuck inside like the rest of us. Either way, here's our top 10 ways for you to stay productive over the next few weeks. Number one, wash your hands. Did you know that you can scream for about 20 seconds before you run out of breath? That's a perfect way for you to measure the time it takes for you to wash your hands. Now that you've washed your hands, go back to your computer and smash the like button for the YouTube algorithm. The next thing you can do while you're stuck at home for a month is build a new habit. The first thing you'll need to do is identify some goals. Recently, we used Warren Buffett's 525 method to identify some goals of our own. Next up, getting your finances in order. Now's a really good time to look over your finances and see where you can cut back. Maybe you don't need Netflix, Hulu, HBO Go, Cinemax, Spotify, YouTube, Red Pandora, or all five of those delivery apps on your phone. A great way to do this is to download a tracking app or just write it down. Another thing you should do while you're stuck at home is stay connected with friends and family. There are plenty of apps you can download to keep up with your social life, like Discord, WhatsApp, Snapchat, Instagram, Facebook, all places you should totally be following us, by the way. And you can call or video chat with loved ones right on your cell phone. The next project you can tackle is organizing a room. Yeah. To get yourself in the right mindset, something amazing you can do is practice daily meditation. There's tons of research showing the benefit of meditation. It can literally reverse brain aging. To keep the days from blending together, it can really help to keep a journal. You can even start a video diary right on your phone. It's not like you need a camera or fancy equipment. One of the most important things you can do is maintain your body by maintaining a workout routine or starting one if you don't have one already. There are tons of resources out there for free. Trust me guys, there's something for everybody. Personally, I love to do yoga first thing in the morning, but if that's not your forte, there's something out there for you. Lastly, we believe it's important to focus on the positives, not just the negatives. Try to take time out of your day to appreciate the little things. Write down three things that you're grateful for each day. And that's our top 10 ways to stay productive during isolation. If you have any more suggestions, just let us know in the comments and don't forget to like and subscribe. Thanks for watching, guys. Oh God, what, it's recording? Oh God. Now. <laughs> the one I'm pointing at? The lackey's back. She finally got her camera. <laughs> Thanks, guys. Lastly, I can't be holding this phone, that looks bad. Lastly, we believe it's...